Today we're going to look at a uh, Romanian parts kit I got on Gunbroker and just kind of show you some of the pitfalls you might want to avoid that I got into. It was completely accidental. Now I got a good deal on this. I think it was like 265 bucks, but knowingly uh, what it did not have at the time, which I knew about and I was okay with, was the rear sight block right here. Now I got this through Blackheart Firearms, I believe it was, out of West Virginia. They're these were brand new Romanian ones, so it's a virgin one, so it has the, as you can see, it has the pin, and it also has, uh, there's a, just a start of a hole there, not a complete hole. Anyways, um, but one, that was the part that I thought that wasn't there, there, the part that I knew that wasn't there, rather. Go over here, if you look at the, these bags I got laying here, we'll go through this real quick. Now, these are the, these two bags here are for the rivets. Obviously, I knew it didn't come with that, because you need brand new rivets. I ordered those through AK Builder. Over here is the, these two bags here, they're the same pin. They are the front sight post pin, which goes into this up here, and then the gas block pin. So I needed four of those. I didn't know that they didn't come with them. Um, so I had, that was additional uh, to what I had. And then also was the disconnector spring, which is here, it fits inside the trigger. It kind of bounces, it makes sure it bounces up and down and relocks. So I had to buy that and Finally, I think I also had to buy, oh, I had to buy another trunnion, but that was on me. This is the rear trunnion, and this is a, another, I think I bought this one through Cope's Distributing. And the reason being I had to buy another one is because I don't drill the other one out when I demilled it, because it still had the, the rivets sticking out of the holes up here. Um, I drilled it cockeyed and actually went right into the trunnion. Now, the trunnion is not that hard, at least it wasn't on this. Those rivets seemed a little bit, almost maybe just about the same amount of hardness as the trunnion. I was a little surprised. So it egged it out pretty bad. I think I have an example of it. I'll, I'll show it later. But uh, anyways, the barrel obviously didn't come with this kit. And I knew it didn't, but I got a good deal on this. This is a Windham, Windham weaponry uh, barrel. Uh, there's a whole story behind them, but I bought two of them. They're like 59 bucks a piece. I think I had free shipping on them, so it worked out pretty well. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to kind of point out here was just the the uh here, here's the old barrel now if you don't have a press to get these out you're kind of a you're kind of in uh bad luck you're gonna have some bad luck here uh luckily for me my buddy he's got a press here so i went and borrowed this press and just popped that thing right out so it was relatively easy but that's kind of maybe what you'll see on a d-mill kit this would already be in the front trunnion right here so this is where your pin sits obviously you have the pin the barrel pin is right there so uh, I pressed that right out. It came out no problems. But overall, the quality is okay. Uh, these parts kits are getting a little bit... It seems like the prices are going up and the quality is going down a little. As you can kind of see here, this has just surface rust on it, so I'll, I'll tighten that or I'll buff all that off and get it good to go. Um, trigger guard, uh, that, uh, that was kind of a pain. That was kind of a pain in the ass to do with the uh, with demilling and the rivets out of that. I had a, had a lot of problems with that, believe it or not. But... Um, overall, everything else was here, but just beware. Oh, oh, that's the other thing, last thing, which I should have had usually because I got about three or four other AKs for some reason. I didn't switch all my Shepherd's hooks out for these retainer clips. Um, these are nice. This one's obviously made by Red Star Arms, but there's, there's some other guys that make them too. They're usually about four or five bucks. They save you a lot of headache when you go to put your, uh, your, where your Shepherd's hook good, should go on your, inside your receiver. These things are a lifesaver. So I had to buy that because it didn't come with the kit either. Um, so they did have the automatic, fully automatic spring in there, but obviously all the other components are missing for that. So kind of really useless at that point. It was, I guess, cool to have, but I really didn't need it. But um, anyways, but I got my, um, uh, I got the uh, quarter inch end mill bit in and I'm gonna be drawing this virgin barrel here. Um, probably, I would imagine tomorrow. You can just kind of see, let me get it zoomed, there you go. Kind of see the new barrel where the uh, trunnion hole is. So I got a quarter inch end mill bit for that. Brand new, nice and sharp. It's a Kodiak. So if you're going to do this, make sure you get really sharp bits. And then I have a seven millimeter uh, honing bit as well. And that one's made by Yankee Screwdriver or Yankee Corporation. So they're really good stuff. So it was like 50 bucks for those two bits. I mean, it's not cheap, but you don't really want to screw that up because this is probably the most crucial part to this build at this point right now, especially for structural integrity. But feel free to drop any comments in there. Uh, just kind of go around real quick. If you are going to buy these old surplus kits, keep in mind you're going to have rust. You know, things might not match up the way you are. I got a different looking 
rear sight post or uh, rear sight uh, adjuster on here. Let me try to zoom in. It's just something I'm not used to. I have a bunch of these laying around, so I'll play with that one. But um, but yeah, other well, the only thing I don't really have up here is the cleaning rod and the uh, butt stock and the forearm grips or the forehand grips. Though I didn't really decide to show those just because you already kind of know what they look like. But just uh, case in point, just make sure you're paying attention when you go out and buy these kits. Make sure that it comes with all the pins. It comes with everything. I mean, luckily I saw the two um, X and Y axis. That was a big relief, I guess, at that point. I didn't really ask the guy too much else about the uh, the other pins that were missing for the front sight block and the and the uh, gas block. And, of course, the Sears, uh, or not the Sears spring, yeah, the disconnector spring, I believe it is. So, uh but uh, if you guys got anything, want to comment, want to throw in there, feel free. There's two C vids out.